Peanut Black here, folks. And this is number two in the panties off the sun in the Super Giants. And Hat Ass in the Brew is officially known as Orcus. Orcus. Close related to the Orca, the killer whale, yes. Named as being big. The blue whale is the biggest whale that we know of in the sea. And Orcus, yes, the name is for being large, okay? So research that, go to Wikipedia. Last video in many of my videos, we sh were showing you that the idea that Earth is getting closer to the sun, the sun is in the supergiants, i.e. here the sun, and then Alraf is behind. Last video, I was like, well, where's Alraf at? Let's go to a current uh, supergiants updated right to this video is being made, 11-11-2011. To let everybody know that Orcus, Orcus is a long ways away. The current distance is 4817. Current distance from the sun is 4794. Okay. Average distance from Earth is 40.3. Okay. So it's actually farther away from us now than normal. Okay. I do believe it's supposed to be around 2019. Discovered in 2004, just seven years ago. Now let's look at the current solar so that you guys will relax on the idea of thinking that it's going to hit the Earth. They have got it down to the idea that it is in an orbit here, drawn out for you. As long as I can get the internet not to mess with me here. We come around like this with Orcus. Okay, that's its deal. There's Earth. There's a lot of stuff around a stereo is a good way to do, explain it to you out there. The sun is in the direct middle of below in the well, that I like to call it. So the idea that when it comes up, it will be behind us, Earth. And the idea that it basically doesn't get any closer than that 40. It should not ever get any closer than... So everybody always saying Oricus and figuring that it's Oricus. It's not. Okay? Nibiru is not it. It's the idea, the code word that they used so that the idea that you don't fear Nibiru to get close to you. Us, i.e. the Earth. You understand what I'm saying? So the idea that when you see that NASA Nibiru is officially known as Orcus to throw you off. And that's with 34 smaller planets orbiting it. All right? And yes, if you go watch the video on my channel, the music gets to be annoying. Okay? On purpose, ladies and gentlemen. All right? Go through the data. Everything in all my videos. So go to my channel, play the video, and it's going to come through 2011, 2012. Okay, Nibiru, code word Oricus from NASA. Okay, but they're not going to tell you that. They're not going to say Orcus because the idea Orcus is a cover because Orcus is go to Wikipedia. And yes, folks, you'll notice that even when I get on, because uh, I'm on the internet live, so the idea that when we get interrupted a lot of times, we'll have a new, because it's going to give you a live update over all the stars in the super giants every time. So, like, next video. I got interrupted here. Things can change around. So the idea that check the wing that we still get. We still get. So when you look up and it's so doggone far away that we actually get like one, two, three. See the V's, folks? Yes. I.E. the V's that have been constantly trying to pound in your guys' heads of looking at the V's up by Soho in the sun. So... So, these are the popping in and the popping out, are all these V's that you see, okay? I.e., when I showed you the space weather, that the idea that, okay, yeah, they're showing you where their solar flares are, but also that they're in conjunction with these V's in the supergiants. These are suns. They are stars, but they are lots of them th for to 74 times the size of our sun.
in the Milky Way galaxy. Physical size comparison, Sun. Lots of other ones that are in the supergiants. There's Rigel, even though it's so doggone bright in the sky. There's Pategulus. Look how small Vega is. So Pategulus, and I'm trying to remember right off the bat, but I don't think Pategulus is the biggest, but it's pretty darn big. All right. So let's go back to Orcus so you guys realize the ending on that. Get Orcus out of the subject matter for a while. Okay, here's where the confusion begins, folks. 90482 Orcus is named after Orcus. That's correct, you see. Okay, now let's unconfuse you a little bit. You're going to have a fun time trying to find the size of Orcus 2004 DW. Okay, that's where they start playing the mind games with you. Okay, Discovery is 2004, seven years ago. Okay. We have nothing to worry about Oricus 2004 DW hitting us, okay? It has been well hidden at times up behind Pluto and in front of Neptune and behind Uranus, okay? Now, if you do go to Telescope, Worldwide Telescope, like my vet past videos I've showed you, you go to Worldwide Telescope and you look up and look up behind Neptune and Uranus. Uranus. And you will see some suns back there that we have glimpsed at of recent with various telescopes that are in space. There are some suns way back there that we have not known about that are also, we will see them. Now, sure, that's art on Worldwide Telescope. They put images on there. Art, not and sometimes they are actual photographs of space from the telescopes. Differentiate. Use your eyeballs. Also, here's what Wikipedia will tell you about Oricus, okay? Michael Brown, Caltech, yes, very famous, and yes, there he found it. They, their team found it. It's got some interesting deals with Pluto. Okay. So you can find out a lot about it. Okay? And basically you will see that in 2019 it will be behind us. Or basically, yeah, coming back around behind us. So. So you go to the Kuiper Belt and you will see the idea that it'll be back around and this is the sun. Remember that. Just think JPL and you'll remember the sun's in the middle. In the middle of the well. And then 219 will be in this quadrant. October 2 or 1989 it was there. So the idea that But the idea that they say that they found it seven years ago. And the idea that it's way out. And like I say, that I figure that it can be considered our second moon. Because the idea that it is considered to be 900 kilometers. Okay? Not anything bigger than a thousand kilometers diameter. Oricus. Okay? And the idea that it got its designation after Mr. Brown. The name had come up. Something to do with his wife. Orcus Island, he named it after. Orcus Island, okay? Published in 2004, i.e. the seven years ago found. Basically, considered found by him and named. And published. Now, knowing that Rigel Cantaris B is our star, baby star, that's down to 5,000 K in effective temperature, and is in front of the sun. Mass, zero, 0.77 of the magnitude of the sun. So yes, it's the smaller sun right now that we have in front of. As of our last video, go to my last video, basically making you watch my last video before this one. The idea that it is only that far from Earth. 
So this is where we get into the area of the idea, since we know that this is in front of the sun currently. Okay, this is in front of where the sun's at, and watch my last video, and it'll show you where the sun's at. Get Raggle Cantaris B is in front of it. Okay. So the idea that we start getting into the dissipation of the idea that who is telling us the right undistance this is from the sun. Now I will tell you right now, we're getting our information on the distance of the sun from the same place. So if we go to distance light years, 43.9, so currently where you're showing your Rigel Cantaris B is in front of the sun, and it is, so then the idea that we're not at our normal 1 IU astronomical unit of the sun. The sun's leaving us, folks. The sun's running away from Earth. What's going on? Well, it's a good thing we got other suns, huh, folks? So check this out. Knowing we have Rigel Cantaris B out in front of the Earth, which is basically becoming our new sun. 25.81 trillion miles away. 277,616 IU away. Remember, don't let things fool you. One IU is an old measurement that we had that the idea that that was considered the distance from the sun. It's not an exact science. We do have exact science now. So that when I show you the IU, we are getting closer to the sun, folks. Okay? So don't let this stuff confuse you. We're getting closer to the sun. And yes, this is closer to us than the sun, but it's considered that far away from Earth because we know it's that far away from Earth. Okay? But when we give you the IU distances from the sun, it's always going to be considered the old measurements and the idea that we are getting closer to the sun. They keep old hard line so that we always know where we're at in considering of thought of where we're at in space, in time, in the sun. Okay? But Bina, you've done nothing but confuse us more. No, not trying to confuse you. Just stay in the idea of where it's at in your mind. Right now, Rigel, Cantaris B, it's in front of the sun. The sun is there. These are suns. Every one of these hundred dots are suns. It's not going to matter which one we have. We will stay warm. We will get sunlight. No global warming. Because we're never going to get closer to the sun than we already are. But this is all learning experience for everyone because it's never been known. We've been in these positions in the Milky Way galaxy and the Supergiant's main sequence. And all the scientists, ever since they put the telescopes out in space and started seeing stuff, clearly everything, not everything gets thrown away, but tons of stuff. So these, number one, or all these V's that we end up seeing up by the sun. So let's go to some recent shots of the sun, folks. Okay, uncolored, wide open, except for their cutoff on the very bottom of what's knowing is there. So we get to see what you need to find is where the Kuiper belt is at right now. This is basically right here, the super giants, folks. This is our V up there. Okay, remember the distance and the idea that how massive the supergiants are. So the idea at times, if whatever is this shot is from behind, okay, so the idea that at least, or you have to go find right now at this time and figure out where Lasco 3 was at, then you'll know the direction of the shot, okay? And whether the idea that it's getting a mirror image towards the front and it's actually behind in the supergiants or not. And you will be able to disseminate of the idea of the angel of light that we keep on seeing all the time up there by the sun of the shots of the idea is this it because the idea that that's V's. When a lot of this V action it's back there in the supergiants that gets flashed forward. Okay, This could be behind or in front but it should be from behind Lasco 3. Let me show you Lasco 2 real quick and get this disclaimer in. Okay. This is a scanning of uh, two, uncolorized, and then you can pop around to Soho like you know to look at the colorization. Okay, 200%, and then you can blow this up. Put it on Word. Play Eagle.